Assalamu alaikum friends I am Mavish and you are watching my channel Mavish Teaches Today I have come up with the solved exercise of computer science class 12 chapter number 2 system development life cycle So I would recommend you to take screenshots of these notes so that you can complete yours Let's start First of all we have MCQs first one is this first step in the system development life cycle is analysis design problem identification development and documentation correct answer is option C that is problem identification second one the organized process or set of steps that needs to be followed to develop an information system is known as analytical cycle design cycle program specifications or system development life cycle so its correct option is option d that is system development life cycle third one enhancements upgradation and bug fixation are done during the dash step in the stlc maintenance and evaluation problem identification design or development and document documentation so its correct answer is option a that is maintenance and evaluation fourth one the dash determines whether the project should go forward feasibility problem identification system evaluation or program specification so its correct option is option a that is feasibility fifth one dash spend most of their time in the beginning stages of the stlc talking with end users and users gathering requirements documenting systems and proposing solutions project manager system analyst network engineers or database administrators so its correct option is option a that is project managers six sixth one the entities having a positive or negative influence in the project completion are known as stakeholders stake supervisors stake owners and then of the above so its correct option is option a that is stakeholders number 7 system maintenance is performed in response to dash business changes hardware and software changes all of the above are user requirements for additional features so its correct option is option c that is all of the above and that's it for the mcqs You can take a screenshot or mark these answers. So now we have short question answers. First one is what is a system? So put a heading a system. The term system is a Greek word meaning to place together and you have to uh, bold these letters system Greek word and place together. A system is a set of components hardware and software for collecting creating storing processing and distributing information a system can be developed by applying a set of methods procedures and routines in a proper sequence to carry out some specific task it can be defined as a set of interrelated components having a clearly defined boundary that work together to achieve a common set of objectives and that's it for question number 1 question number 2 name different phases of stlc so put a heading stlc phases or steps the following are phases or steps in stlc defining problem planning feasibility study analysis requirement engineering design coding development or construction phase testing or verification deployment or implementation 
maintenance and support and you have to write all these phrases sequence wise that's it for question number 2 Question number 3 What are the objectives of SDLC so put a heading objectives of SDLC a system development life cycle or SDLC has three primary objectives first one ensure that high quality systems are delivered second one provide strong management controls over the projects third one maximize the productivity fourth one STLC should identify the potential project risk in advance so that the proper planning should be done in early and that's it for question number 3 take a screenshot question number 4 give some activities of planning phase so put a heading activities of planning phase Number 1 objective is determined number 2 requirements are collected and considered number 3 estimate of resources that is time cost and personnel is done number 4 requirements are analyzed number 5 alternate solutions are considered and evaluated number 6 information is assembled to project plan and number 7 project is sent to management for approval you have to write all these activities sequence wise that's it for answer of question number 4 take a screenshot now we have question number 5 differentiate between functional and non functional requirements so draw a table having two columns in which you will write functional requirements and non functional requirements functional requirements specify software functionality the developer must build into the project to enable users to accomplish their task whereas non functional requirements specifies the criteria for how well a system perform its duties while testing point number 2 functional testing is performed before non functional testing whereas non functional testing is performed after functional testing point number 3 functional requirements are easier to define and test whereas non functional requirements are difficult to define and test point number 4 functional requirements describe what product does whereas non functional requirements describe how product performs or works point number 5 functional requirement must be fulfilled whereas non functional requirement may or may not be fulfilled point number 6 functional requirement describes product features whereas non functional requirements describe product properties and that's it for the answer of question number 5 Question number 6 Design phase is considered as the architectural phase of SDLC give reasons Design phase is also called architectural phase because physical design or logical design layout outline or basic structure is prepared in this phase coding and development is done on the basis of this design phase design phase determines the structure of data flow That's it for the answer of question number 6. Now we have question number 7. Explain flow chart symbols so you can see its answer on page number 30 of your book. From page number 30, you will draw this table having flow chart symbols. as well as the description question number 8 what is the purpose of testing or verification phase of sdlc so put a heading purpose of testing the purpose of testing is to evaluate an attribute or capability of a program or system number 2 to determine whether project meets its requirement required results 
Number three, to check items for consistency by evaluating the results against pre-specified requirements. And number four, to analyze and compare original results and predictable or desired results. And that's it for the answer of question number eight. Now we have question number nine. Give main activities of the implementation phase. So put a heading main activities during deplo deployment or implementation phase. The main activities that are involved during deployment or Im implementation phase are number one, installation of the hardware and software. Number two, activation of the hardware and software. Number three, deliver documents such as user manual, etc. Number four, in some cases, the users and the computer operation personals are trained on the development on the developed software system. Number five, conversion. The process of changing from the old system to the new system is called conversion. And that's it for the answer of question number nine. Friends, if you have still not subscribed my channel, then please subscribe my channel, Mahavish Teaches. And if you have learned something from my video, then please press the like button below my video. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.